potential tragedy or a potential miracle. You'd think the story of the Titanic submersible and attempts to rescue its crew would be one of the few things that could unite people behind a common cause. Yeah, fat chance. It's been dragged kicking and screaming into the culture war like everything else. We now learn that the company's drive for diversity may have jeopardised the safety of the vessel. Oceangate CEO Stockton Rush gave an interview in which he asserted that he didn't want to continue hiring a bunch of 50 year old white guys because this wouldn't be inspirational. There are other sub operators out there, but they, they typically um, have uh, gentlemen who are ex-military submariners and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50 year old white guys. Um, I wanted our team to be younger, to be inspirational. Some of these hirings related directly to safety and risk assessment. Is related to safety and uh, some of the, the preponderance of checklists, uh, things we do for risk assessment. Stockton even said anybody can drive the sub with a $30 video game controller. The chilling irony behind these statements is that one of those 50-year-old white guys, former Ocean Gate Director of Marine Operations David Lockridge, was fired in 2018 for blowing the whistle on safety issues. The report detailed numerous issues that posed serious safety concerns. These included Lockridge's worry that visible flaws in the carbon fibre supply to Ocean Gate raised the risk of small flaws expanding into larger tears during pressure cycling. These concerns were all communicated to Ocean Gate's senior management, including CEO Stockton Rush, who is on board the vessel. So which inspirational candidates got hired instead of those 50 year old white guys. Well at least one of them is a young female TikToker who shared the final video of the vessel's descent. <laughs> She was hired last month. Because I'm joining this company that does submarine trips down to the Titanic. I could cry thinking about this, but um, stay the fuck dude. Quickly got to work convincing her quote, straight ass co-worker to visit a drag queen show while at port. Somehow convinced my straight ass co-worker to go to a drag show while we're at port for less than 12 hours. For this beautiful Inspirational. Another tweet celebrating the company's diversity hiring policy excluded men altogether. Yeah, maybe they should have hired more 50-year-old white guys. A whole bunch of 50-year-old white guys. Oh yeah, and by the way, they've been squeezing older white guys out of air traffic control since 2014. Now there's an alarming rise in near miss incidents. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. Meanwhile, far-left fact-checker Snopes had to reverse its own fact-check after falsely appearing to blame the vessel's loss of communication on Elon Musk. Until Twitter Community notes pointed out that Starlink cannot be used to communicate with underwater submarines because the penetration depth of 2.45 gigahertz in water is a mere 8 centimetres. Look at me! I'm Snopes now! There's much more reaction to this, but first a word from the sponsor of this video. Lord Watson. It just sounds right, doesn't it? it? Sounds like it was meant to be. Established Titles is an entertaining novelty gift that helps preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland, as well as supporting global reforestation efforts. It's a fun project based on a historic Scottish custom, where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Established Titles works with its charity partners, One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future, to plant a tree with every order. Impress and stand out from the rest by using Lord or Lady on your credit card, dating profile or plane ticket. Title packs can serve at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Eddleston, Scotland. You'll receive a certificate with a crest and unique plot number, just like this one. Oh! <laughs> And the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my dedicated plot within a few minutes walking distance. We can build our little kingdom. I'm going to be leader, obviously. And if you forgot to get your dad something, they're currently running an extended Father's Day sale with up to 80% off and a free gift. You can also use the code PJW to get an extra 10% off your order. The best way of supporting me is by supporting my loyal sponsors. So click the link in the description below and get your gift today. Now back to the video. But the company's dedication to inclusivity and diversity didn't protect it from the wrath of shit libs. Especially after they found out that the Ocean Gate CEO had... God forbid, donated to GOP candidates. Yes, the hashtag be kind crowd was out in full force gloating over the demise of the crew, primarily because most of them are rich white men, with 19-year-old Solomon de Wood's presence on board being largely brushed aside because it doesn't satisfy their vindictive death wish. Hassan Piker's buddy, who spends half his time hanging out in the live stream as three million dollar mansion, said anyone who spends a quarter of a million dollars on a one-time novelty experience deserves to be entombed in a box at the bottom of the ocean. While Miss 
Yes, I'm literally a communist, as Sarkar's main concern. I'm literally a communist. Was that the poor people right now gasping for oxygen as they desperately perish at the bottom of the ocean aren't being taxed enough. One of the most disturbing reactions to the tragedy came courtesy of the stepson of one of the people on board the vessel, with Brian Saz posting on Facebook of how the unfolding catastrophe didn't stop him attending a Blink 182 concert, then asserting he wasn't sorry after receiving criticism. I go to a Blink-182 show because they have a ticket. It wasn't like I was having super fun. It wasn't like I was celebrating, have a great time. I was kind of just listening to some of my all-time favorite songs, kind of like nodding my head. Even Cardi B, not exactly renowned as a paragon of decency, called him out. People is like, um, well, what is he supposed to do? Be sad at the house? Is he supposed to go look for himself? Yes. You supposed to be at the house sad. You supposed to be crying for me. You supposed to be right next to the phone waiting to hear any updates about me. You supposed to be uh constantly your mom and shit. Like isn't it sad that you a whole fucking billionaire? And nobody gives a fuck about you. After defending himself against accusations that he wasn't showing enough interest in the plight of his stepfather, and a mere 30 minutes after asking people to pray for his family, Zaz asked an OnlyFans e-girl to sit on his face. Too soon, Brian. Too soon. Experts and friends of the crew have outlined a number of different scenarios as to what actually happened to the submarine. They say the most likely is that the hull of the submersible imploded due to the brittle carbon fibre material killing all five passengers within milliseconds. Even if they were able to release their ballast tanks and float up to the surface of the water, they would almost certainly have been spotted by now. And they can't open up the hatch from the inside, so they would have run out of oxygen anyway. If they're stuck on or near the bottom of the seabed near the wreckage of the Titanic, there's basically no hope because it would take hours to pull them out and their oxygen supply would have already run out in that time. They went in a submarine called the Titan. The Titan is the name of the fictional ship that sort of predicted the Titanic disaster. Before the Titanic was built, there was a fictional book about a ship called the Titan that sunk and went uh, went missing or whatever. So they named it, they did, I don't think they did this intentionally, but they named it Titan, the submarine. And so now it's down there with the wreckage of the Titanic and it's just sitting there. A scintilla of hope is that they have more oxygen than previously thought and have found novel ways to conserve it. But the overriding view is that the CEO cut corners on safety and didn't take whistleblowers seriously. Something that was even highlighted by a news reporter who visited the sub. An experimental submersible vessel that has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma, or death. Where do I sign? I couldn't help noticing how many pieces of this sub seemed improvised. We can use these off-the-shelf components. I got these from uh, Camper World. We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> Come on! By the time you see this video, the whole saga will probably have been brought to a conclusion. It's obviously not looking great. But rising above all the political bullshit, we can only pray for those unfortunate to be on the vessel and hope for a miracle. <laughs>